What's up, YouTube? Um, thanks for watching last week's episode of the BGJ vlog. Um, it, it, it's interesting to see how everybody is sharing his and her opinion and, uh, you know, to see all the feedback. So thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's always a good thing to do a reality check on what you're doing. And talking about reality check, you know, realizing what you're doing brings me to the subject of uh, this week, actually. So what we're going to talk about is how to gain the most out of your jiu-jitsu training, not your training in general, but every single class. Because jiu-jitsu is just like life, you know. Uh, you have to prepare. You have to work towards something. And, uh, you know, maybe the first few months is difficult, but, you know, once you realize that you're hooked to jiu-jitsu and you accept it uh, and, and told yourself, I really want to learn this martial art, it's smart to work uh, with somewhat of a plan, basically. So, of course, you can just go to class without any preparation, um, do the drills that are, uh, you know, instructed, do the techniques that are instructed and do your sparring without thinking too much of it. Um, and I think that's a, a, a shortcoming for yourself. So in my personal uh, you know, uh, experience, I've done the following and that has helped me a lot. So in training, especially you know, when you train with higher belts, uh, you end up in a bad spot in sparring and you lose on an armbar or on a choke or whatever. The first thing you want to realize for yourself is what kind of mistakes you're making. And then after training, you start thinking about those mistakes and what led to that certain point where you got caught. So that's somewhat of an awareness you need to create for yourself. So if you know that, uh, you can focus on preventing that in sparring. Um, and if you take that information and use that in your technique training and in your preparation towards your training, you can gain a lot more. For instance, um, let's say um, you know that when you are in a uh, cross-side bottom, people catch your arm or they easily go to mount. Then when you know in class that, um, for instance, uh, a cross-side escape is going to get covered or even going to the mount is going to get covered, you want to think for yourself, okay, this is the point where I, in, in, you know, in sparring, um, lose control or lose the position or lose the fight. So you put extra attention to when your instructor is talking about the technique you got to do there. And uh, don't be shy to ask any additional info or to use your personal um, experience as an example to ask uh, whether or not you're doing it right. This is not only helping you, it's also helping your teammates. And um, in my opinion, as an instructor, uh, it helps your instructor as well. Because uh, we have to think about situations that might occur for ourselves, but it's best if you give us a real life situation. So <clears throat> if you think about what happened, you know, after class, when you lost that position, let's, for the example, we're going to take um, that someone easily uh, uh, mounts you, that you can do anything to prevent that. So you think about the situations where it happened, and then in class, you guys are going to cover, uh, you know, how to go to mount. So from an offensive perspective, then you can use your example of getting mounted easily uh, to ask, hey, what are the pinpoints for the guy who's going to mount to focus on? And on the other hand, for the bottom guy, maybe. So that gives you a whole picture because jujitsu is not just one technique. And that's where the difficulty is. It's not just one technique. It's a chain of reactions which will lead to one certain um, uh, yeah, to one certain position or, or, or situation or submission or whatever. So that's something you want to um, realize there. So if you do that, not only do you have uh, the, the right information for you to solve your problem, but your mind, your focus is in the right spot. So later on, when you go to sparring, you try to apply um, um, the strategy and the counter technique for the one who's going to mount. That's how it works. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. 
And this is maybe the most important part of my message for today. After class or after the seminar or, or anything, take notes. Just write the stuff down you have learned and write it down in as much detail as possible. Uh, maybe you'll never look into your notes again. Can happen. No problem. But it will help you to memorize. Why? Because when you take notes, you have to re-visualize in your mind what you did, you know, how to move, how your opponent moves, brings you back in the situation. So taking notes is an extension of your training on the mats because you have to put your mind to your jiu-jitsu all over again to do, to do that particular situation all over again. So always... Take some notes. Of course, you know, it's undoable to uh, take note of everything that happened in class, but take the things that you know that are important for you and write them down. And, uh, you know, people all say, oh, let me take a video. Um, it doesn't do the same thing. It's not about, you know, uh, looking at it and think, oh, this is what I have to do, but reproducing the image, the situation in your head. Focusing on it, being aware of that situation again. That's what's helping you to learn. That's in jiu-jitsu, that's in life, that's just how it works. So, prepare for class, um, ask the right questions, and take notes. That's basically all you have to do to get more from your regular jiu-jitsu training. And then instead of, you know, training one hour and just going as it goes you'll see yourself proceeding in a, in a much faster rate uh, than before. So I hope you guys find this helpful and you will try this and it will make you uh, a way better jiu-jitsu uh, 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 fighter than you already are. So, and if so, leave a comment. I always appreciate the comments. So for now, we're going to tune out and I wish you all a very great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.